Well, we end our show this week where we began the month at the historic Yard of Bricks here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And what a month it has been. The traditions, the memories, the stories of the people who built the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and motorsports in Indiana. It is an industry that has big social and economic impact on every corner of the state. This is and always will be the greatest spectacle in racing. This is the Indianapolis 500. Well, the strength of this event is tradition, like I said, uh, with a capital T, because this event has been happening for over 100 years, 107th year this year, and there's so much strength into that. Lady and gentlemen, start your engine. I thought we'd bother taking a poke. Tony Holman bought the crumbling speedway for a whopping $750,000 in 1945. And together, Tony from Terre Haute and Mary the Cigar Heiress from Evansville turned the Indianapolis 500 into the premier motorsports event in the world. The Holman George family did amazing things. Roger Penske is now going to take what they've built and make it even better. Roger wanted to make sure that we were doing everything we can to deal with the long-time belief that, that motorsports and racing was a white sport, a belief that he didn't he did not have and didn't realize was so prevalent until he came here and got involved in our NXG Youth Motorsports Program. If you need it done, you can get it done in Indy. As we continue our month-long Business at the Brickyard series, a look at the economic impact of motorsports on Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. It is significant, touching all 92 Indiana counties, 300-plus motorsports-related businesses, we're hitting on all cylinders, as we say. Green, green, green. Christian Lungard. Biggest growth has been on social and digital media. So that's really, that means younger. And that, of course, that's is what you music want. to every yeah. sports marketer's ears. The Purdue presence here at Indianapolis, very big. Purdue is part of the fabric of the Indianapolis 500. It all started in 1919. The Purdue All-American Marching Band paving the way is the first band to play as part of race day ceremony. The 500 Festival, it's been around since 1957. It's the Princess Float that features all 33 500 princesses, and it also brings back a little nostalgia for me. Back in 2006, I too did the Princess Wave. Drivers and teams are taking advantage of an Indianapolis area gym, pit fit, to push their workouts into a sixth gear. The heart rates of race drivers actually compare to someone running a marathon. But here at pit fit, they're not just training cardio, they also train your mind. From strobe glasses for focus speed. This is not just a race, it's an event. This is our Super Bowl. Thank you.